Hey everybody, so hello from London. Today we're gonna go makeup shopping again, and this time we're gonna see what London has to offer. The number one place I like to shop for drugstore makeup in London is this place called Super Drug, and you'll find a ton, a ton of makeup. I love spending like an hours and hours here. First of all, there's Sleek. Sleek is really popular, especially all over the world, and you get a lot of palettes. You have more products here, like contouring palettes to brows, to eyeshadow palettes and they're not expensive they're about eight pounds which is about maybe sixteen dollars thing the other one is Barry M that I really like and that a lot of people like Barry M has a lot I think has a lot more products in the lip and the nail department and I really find that you know makeup in London especially is a lot louder they're, they're not afraid to wear louder colors and um, play around with more colors and have uh, products that have more higher coverage and everything like that so it's really really cool to see Barry M is also really fun I picked up two nail polishes that I really liked I'm so into nude and pinks lately and then there's also other brands like MUA and MUA is actually like only one pound for everything so it's like one pound for powder, one pound for uh, nail stuff, so it's really good. And there's also Revolution, and these palettes here are around four pounds. So they're really, really affordable. I also saw a whole stack of Zoella products. It's a YouTuber in the UK and also everywhere in the world. It's amazing to see their products all over Superdrug. And also there is other local brands that you can find in the UK that are also very high quality, but also very affordable as well, which is really cool and something you don't get in Singapore. Of course, there are other brands like Maybelline, which is like the Super Stay, which you don't get in Singapore. And I love the Super Stay range. I only had it in Australia, but not in Singapore. And then there is, of course, Dream Velvet and this interesting Dream Blender thing. I think this is probably coming to Singapore sometime soon. And for L'Oreal, I love this range, the Infallible range, one of my favorites. And I also picked up a new sculpting product, which is this, which is like cream, contour, and highlight. So I'm excited to use that and try it out and hopefully review it soon as well. So they're not too expensive. I think they're a lot cheaper than in Singapore. And then you have a lot of mascaras as well. So I think they bring in different products than what you get in, say, Asia, then Australia, then the UK and America. And this is the new Revlon Liquid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Of course, Rimmel is really popular too. I do like the Wake Me Up Foundation. So that is definitely one of my favorites. So I just love, love, love Super Jug. I cannot get enough of it. Now, if you are looking for other boutique makeup boutiques, you can hop on to Covent Garden. Covent Garden is actually one of my favorite places to go to in London. I always come here. There's a lot of nice shops in Covent Garden and a lot of nice makeup as well. So I think from a year ago when I went to London, it has changed quite a bit. Number one, there is a new Kiko Milano store. I went inside, tons and tons of makeup in there. Was a little scared to film, but my most excited thing of the day was Charlotte Tilbury's boutique. And I was not here last year, so I was very excited to come in and make a purchase. But basically, you'll see all of the makeup just was so beautiful to see. Like, I love this maroon rose goldish color. I picked up two palettes, and I also picked up the Magic Foundation. I have been using them. I do like the palettes, but not so much the Magic Foundation. Other than that, Coleman Garden is great. You can see a lot of entertainers and have Shake Shack and stuff like that as well. Now, if you want more makeup, then you can go on to Oxford Circus and there's a top shop there. It happens to be a very, very big top shop. And the beauty department is not so bad at all. And they not just only have top shop makeup, but they also have different stuff like the balm. And they also have other brands that are not top shop beauty kind of like you know fun glitter lips for example or DHC or Embryolis Embryolis and all of these different brands EOS is everywhere um, I heard about the EOS controversy lately but I'm not sure sure myself I wanted to get the Embryolis but it was really expensive it was about like maybe 20 to 40 pounds you'll get Tangle Teasers and other niche brands that you can get that you can't find in main street areas as well and of course Top Shop makeup these are blush sticks and contour sticks, things I haven't seen in the top shop in Singapore too. So it's really cool. By the way, you have to check the store out. It has even a Froyo store and a cupcake store. I mean, how cool is that? 
the last place I want to bring you to is Selfridges, also next to Bond Street. My favorite place to come for makeup. I could spend hours here too. You got Inglot, you got uh, NYX, and even Zoeva. I've only seen Zoeva online, so it's really cool to see it on a retail level and to see the brushes because they are absolutely gorgeous and they were sold out like crazy as well, which is amazing. And of course, you also get your, you know, Bobby Brown, your YSL, and everything like that, but to be honest, all of that is available in Singapore and I'm going to end with some rainbow bangles and I really hope you guys like this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye!